what is going on, people. If you couldn't tell by the title I'm here for, and if you couldn't tell behind me, usually there's movies in this little case over here. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'm doing a updated version of my Scream Factory collection. The reason why is I picked up two more movies for the collection. I also, within the past like month and a half, have gotten a good amount. There was a, a sale that they had, so I bought a b whole bunch of titles. I also bought a few box sets. So I thought, why not? Let me update it. This will be my... 2019 Scream Factory update uh, where like I said the last time I did it I believe was October and I pretty much said maybe two times a year I'll you know update it because I'm always buying more movies when I first started I wasn't really collecting them to collect them and then I started getting into them and then it went from like 30 movies to 60 movies to like over 75 titles now I got over 100 so you know like I said every six months or so I'll do a updated uh, Screen Factory collection. Uh, before I do get into it, uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You can wait till the end if you liked it or not. And then, of course, hit that little bell button so you know when I do upload other, uh, you know, other videos. If it's an update, if it's a uh, collection showing off a collection or talking about reviews and stuff, I do a whole bunch of stuff on here. Everything movie related, actually some Funko Pop and stuff. But uh, yeah, let me get into it because I got a whole bunch of stuff. I'll talk about some here and there. Some I still have not even opened. Uh, some I still have not watched. But I'll be here talking about them. Uh, and yeah, I'll go with the... I got my box sets first and then I'll go with the ones without slip covers. I got a few steel books and then the ones with slip covers. So let me get into this. I don't want to make this uh, your video too long, but I do have over 100 titles, so it'll probably be a decently long video in itself. So anyway, like I said, I picked up a bunch of new uh, box sets. The only one I really did have was Halloween. And then within the past couple months, within the last six months, I picked up a, uh, a few. So the first one I did pick up was the uh, Amityville Horror Trilogy. Uh, two of these, this one and the next one I'm going to show, you, uh, show off to you. I already had in a certain capacity whether I had all the DVDs or this. I had a DVD box set where it had the three movies including a like uh, documentary or whatever. So I'm like, do I really need them? But eventually I'm like, you know what? Let me just add it to uh, the Screen Factory collection. This comes with three movies. The Amityville Horror, the Amityville 2, The Possession, and Amityville 3D. Uh, so that one is Amityville uh, this one is Amityville 2, The Possession, and then the third one, of course, is Amityville 3D with that cool-looking, uh, like, 3D-ish hand. Um, I'm surprised that, uh, I mean, I don't know, like I said, I haven't really sat down to watch these because I've seen them so many times. I don't know the quality of them. If anybody does, if anybody has this set, let me know in the, uh, comments. So that is the Amityville Horror set. This one, like I said, I own these movies all on DVD. And again, I was like, do I really need it? But I kept seeing people buy the set. And I'm like, this set looks really good. I like the cover art and all that stuff. And I'm like, eh, let me go and get it. And that's the uh, Critters, the collection, the four movie set. You got Critters, Critters 2, the main chorus, Critters 3, and Critters 4. Uh, I believe that Critters 2 is the only one with, you know, another title added to it. So that's Critters. You got uh, Critters 2. Pretty sure that these are the old school looking, um, what do you want to call it? The old school uh, covers that go to the movies, uh, if I do remember right. And um, actually, to tell you the truth, uh, I, Critters 3, I have the DVD. And on the DVD, it has a little circle in it where it has Leonardo DiCaprio's face because Critters 3 is his uh, big screen or you know film debut he was in tv shows and stuff before that but that's his real debut and then of course critters 4 so like i said i already owned all these on dvd and i'm like do i really need them but like the set and whatever but i mean look at the box set it looks pretty cool um a lot of these have some you know special features and all that stuff on them so that's another reason why i got them some of the special features that come on this uh don't come on the regular uh dvds uh, this was the only box set I owned um, to begin with, and that's the Halloween set. This is the second version of it. The first one, I think, sold out, and there's going for, you know, like $200, $300 or whatever. This one, when I bought it, it was only like 60 bucks. It's a, you know, a different version of it, and it comes with uh, a whole bunch. It comes with the, 
uh, Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, Halloween 4, Return of Michael Myers, Revenge of Michael Myers is 5, Halloween Curse of Michael Myers, H2O, Resurrection, and then it does come with the two, um, two Rob Zombie Halloweens, uh, Halloween 2000. Uh, seven and 2009 is Halloween 2 a whole bunch of special features and uh, it's definitely a nice set if you haven't seen it already again the other one the first one that came out is going for uh, a good amount of money so that's why well and that's not why I didn't get it or why I got that one is because at that point it's the only one that's available there's another one I got uh, I actually kind of mixed missed mixed this one up with basket case uh, Basket Case has not been released by uh, Screen Factory. It has been released by Arrow and Synapse Films, I believe. I thought this, in my head, I thought it was Basket Case, so I bought this. But It's Alive, I remember watching just the first one when I was younger. Did not know there was more. Um, and again, like I said, I thought it was the uh, Basket Case uh, com uh, collection, but it's not. And it's It's Alive. You have It's Alive 2. Um... This one doesn't have a title. And then the third one is Island of the Alive. Uh, that's the third one. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, I, I saw the first one. Still, I, I might have seen the second one. But I know I haven't seen the third one. And still haven't sat down to watch it. But that's the It's Alive trilogy. And then this one I recently got. Probably um, end of last month. Uh, middle of last month or whatever. And it's the uh, Poison Ivy collection. I know I did have the first two on DVD. But the other ones I don't believe I did have. But it's Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy 2 Lily. Uh, Poison Ivy uh, the new seduction. Which is, uh, what's her name? Jamie Lee Presley in it. And um, Poison Ivy the Secret Society. I think that was like a uh, made for TV movie. I believe. And that one has, uh, what's her name in it? Um, uh... Who the hell is in that one? Uh, it doesn't say. But it was Drew Barrymore, then Alyssa Milano, then Jamie Lee Presley, and I forget the fourth girl that was, you know, the seductress or whatever you want to call it. So uh, if you know who the fourth one is, let me know in the uh, comments. Uh, so those were my few box sets. I do have another one I want to get. I want to get the uh, Rec Collection. I've heard and seen good things about that, so that's probably going to be the next box set that I do get. I uh, went and got a uh, tax return today, or went to get my taxes done, so I'll be getting some money in, so that might be the next purchase. So anyway, let me get into the uh, non-slip covers, and then the um, steel books, and then the slip covers. So, like I said, I'll talk about some of them here and there, nothing too big. Uh, Abandon, this is a about a... Uh, uh, girl going into i believe it was like a mental asylum or a abandoned mental asylum and the ghosts of the kids are still there this one i really did dig this one's animal where a bunch of people get you know trapped in this like cabin uh because of this animal and the effects in this one are amazing uh anti-birth uh this is one that has a like a demon child um this is the axe murders of Velisca. I remember it, it took me forever. That's why I had to look at it because I would constantly mess up that name. I think I said it about four or five times uh, so wrong. So I decided to uh, look at it and get it right. Uh, the Battery. This is a, you know, updated tale about uh, zombies and such. Uh, this one I still have not opened. Uh, the Beast Within. Uh, the reason why I don't open a lot of these is because whenever Screen Factory does have a a sale I try to get as much as I can because certain times it's like 50% off 40% off and then if you spend over a hundred bucks then it's free shipping so usually at that point in time it'll go down to like 10 bucks a movie and I can't beat that so I'll get like 10 titles at a time and then sometimes I just whether it's you know movies I got to review for uh, my own sake or for the dorking or whatever some pull to the wayside uh, the beast within still have not seen this one um, I've seen trailers and stuff if that one's definitely it, I've heard good things so eventually I'll get into that uh, this is one of the uh, you know recent ones I believe either late 2017 or early 2018 beyond the gates it's about like an evil uh, video game uh, body bags um, it's a John Carpenter anthology film it's almost like a creep show kind of deal but it's got different uh different shorts and stuff in it i'm 
eventually some of these I want to look for the uh, slip covers. So if anybody knows where you can get slip covers for Scream Factory uh, titles, let me know because I do want to uh, get a few of them. Uh, this one is Bound to Vengeance. This one's actually uh, definitely some of these titles are newer and I didn't know what to expect. This one was definitely it's a uh, revenge film. Um, and it's definitely a really good one. It's the one that you all should check out. Uh, the Burning, I got this a while ago where it's almost like a uh, uh, Friday the 13th kind of deal, but I watched it and maybe not seeing it for, you know, many years and just being so accustomed to the Friday the 13th movies, I just didn't dig it as much. Uh, this is Cabin Fever, the uh, remake. I don't know why they had to remake it. Cabin Fever was, what, 15 years ago when they remade it. This is one that I purchased uh, recently. It's Cage Fury. Uh, pretty much a girl gets sent to jail, and it's the crazy stuff that goes in there. Cherry Falls is about a um, a murderer that's going after virgins in a town. And it's there's one scene that was funny where... Uh, they have this pack where everyone's going to have sex after after prom or whatever to, you know, be safe from this killer. Uh, Crawl Space, this one is not is one I haven't uh, opened up. It was one of the ones I got during one of the sales. Uh, Darkness Rising, I don't remember what that one's about, to tell you the truth. A Dark Song, this is actually um, a re it's released by Scream Factory, but this actually isn't the Scream Factory copy of it, but I know it's Put out by Screen Factory, so I added that a dark song. Still haven't watched that. That one actually came in the um, uh, horror pack. Horror. Some of these titles actually came in horror pack, so that was pretty cool. If you hadn't have don't know what that is, look it up. It's a monthly subscription service. Check it out. Horror pack. Anyway, Demented is one I recently got. It's about uh, like a rape uh, revenge type movie. Um, the Devil's Candy. This one's a artsy film where uh, it's like um. Guy kind of goes crazy and stuff. It's very artsy, that one. Uh, the Devil's Doorway. Still have not checked this one out. Um, disturbing Behavior. It's about an old... What is it? Mid-90s, I'd say, where uh, a kid moves into a town where it's run by this, like, a cult or whatever. I think it's, like, the Blue Ribbon Society or something like that. And and you, you the one guy is kind of brainwashing all these people. Uh, dolls... Um, definitely one that I hadn't seen for a long time and I hadn't seen at all to say the truth and I'm watching and I liked it about uh, uh, some people getting stranded in this old people's house and the dolls come alive the editor this one's all over the place It'll probably take me like 10 minutes to talk about final exam is one that I uh, always saw on the website I just never uh, picked it up so final exam still have not watched it uh, this is From Beyond. This is more of a sci-fi type film. Uh, Full Moon High. Still haven't watched that one. That was one I got for like five bucks. Uh, the Fun House is an old school movie where the kids end up going into, uh, breaking into a fun house at night and realizes that there's crazy stuff that goes on. Uh, the Fun House Massacre. This is a fun one about uh, mental asylum people end up breaking out of the mental asylum. Uh, they have a fun house for them and... Um, they end up killing the people that go to this fun house, like kind of dedicated to them and they take over the roles. Um, really fun movie. We had the director Andy Palmer on, uh, ginger snaps. I had the entire series on uh, DVD. So I just picked this one up, uh, just to pick it up. I, I don't know if they have all the other ones released. Um, that's one that I need a slip cover for, uh, the harvest. This, I still have not, uh, sat down to watch. Um, we have, uh, Hellhole. This is a, um, another prison type movie where the girl gets, uh, sent to prison and they're doing all these experiments and stuff on them. This is a recent one that I picked up. I think I picked up like eight titles at that point in time. I might've did a, uh, uh, review for them. Hemlock Grove is a, um, a series, which I haven't sit, sat down. Hashtag horror, uh, really not, uh, what I... It's a little bit too, like, young for me, I guess you want to call it. It's girls that um, kind of go crazy and kill each other, but they're using, like, cell phones and stuff. It's a little weird, and it's a little, like, 
like I said, a little too young. I remember you. Uh, I do. I did watch it, but I right now I don't remember it too much. Uh, this one I recently got. Love at first bite and once bitten. Once bitten is the one with uh, Jim Carrey, and he turns into a werewolf, I think, or a vampire or something like that. Uh, Lady in White still have not opened this one. I had someone ask me into to watch it and do a review, but I still haven't gotten to sit down and watch that one. Lady in White. Uh, Motel Hell. This is another one that uh, has a slip cover that I never ended up. Uh, being able to get uh, Munchy and Munchies. Uh, this one, the, the second one, has nothing to do with the first one. Uh, and the first one is uh, Munchy, and then it turns into Munchies, where you would think that a sequel would be called the extra, like it should be. But anyway, uh, Munchies I liked a little bit better. The other ones, like the, the, um, a, the little monster grants wishes and stuff uh naked vengeance and vendetta this is another one i just picked up pretty much both are um rape revenge movies or revenge movies in essence uh the nest this has to do with giant uh cockroaches and bugs and stuff uh our house still haven't watched this this is a more of a ghost story kind of deal uh pumpkin head 2 this is one that came in the horror pack uh rockula another one that i just picked up to pick up to add to the collection still haven't watched it eventually uh saturday the 14th this one i picked up because i wanted it and i still haven't opened it this is a, a spoof type comedy uh uh horror movie i want to say in the veins of like uh, uh not really scary movie because scary movie kind of took all the movies that were around and kind of made fun of them this one just is like a horror comedy type movie scarecrows was one that i always saw when i was younger like the tired the cover for it and then i finally watched it about uh you know people robbing a bank and then the one guy goes and tries to uh tries to steal everything and and uh and goes and kind of messes everything up by landing in this uh field with scarecrows that come to life and stuff uh sharkansaw women's prison massacre this is a interesting movie about uh girls that are in prison they get like leave where they can go outside but they got to do like community work and a place that they end up going there's sharks that you know swim through land and stuff interesting type movie uh sleepaway camp of course is a classic um sleepaway camp 2 this is what uh unhappy campers that's where um angela comes back slumber party massacre is a fun type um uh 80 slasher with you know, a girls basketball team and a janitor and stuff. This one I actually looked and this one might be out of print because when I looked for it, for some reason this came up and it was showing like 75 bucks. But when I got it, it was like 12 or whatever. So this one might be out of print. I don't know. But a Slumber Party Massacre 2 and 3. Um, I heard pretty much bad things about the sequels. But uh, Swamp Thing I finally picked up. Um, one that I remember watching a long time ago. Always saw it on the uh, the website, but never picked it up. Terror Vision and the Video Dead. This one is a fun, like, 80s type. One's about the dead coming through the TV, and the other one's, like, aliens and stuff. They live, uh, Roddy Piper, of course, one of his, you know, most famous movie roles that he's in. Uh, I'm, you know, I ran out of bubble. I can't even think of the, uh, the quote now. I'm horrible, by the way. Uh, the Vagrant. Uh... This is The Vampire Lovers. This is one I got recently that was like six bucks after all the, you know, saving and stuff. I just wanted to add it. Uh, I don't know when this is from. When is this from? 1970. So uh, that's another thing. I wanted to start picking up some movies from, you know, earlier, uh, like earlier 70s, late 60s and stuff because I never watched that and I wanted to get it. This is one I just recently picked up. Vampire's Kiss and High Spirits. I got it for Vampire's Kiss because I heard, you know, very fun stuff about uh, Nicolas Cage and his role and stuff and his craziness from back then. Uh, th uh, this one I picked up today. Uh, Welcome to Mercy. This is a um, possession type, like stigmata type film. Really interesting stuff. If, if you're into uh, possession and stuff like that, this one you definitely have to watch. Uh, I'll do a, uh, a probably a deeper review of eventually. Uh, Welcome to Willits. 
Now, when I don't remember to tell you the truth, uh, this one, I was very surprised. I watched it. I was doing a live stream on my Instagram, actually, and as I'm watching it, I just stopped talking, and people are like, what the hell are you doing? And I was because I was watching this. Uh, what keeps you alive, it's about a lesbian couple that ends up going into the woods, and uh, let's just say the one girl isn't what she said she is. Uh, really cool and interesting, like, survival-type movie. I definitely dug it. Um... Wormwood, this is another zombie type film, but just think like Mad Max meets a zombie film. Really fun stuff, if you haven't seen it. Uh, zombie Fight Club, another zombie type film. Uh, now I'm getting into the uh, into the steel books in my collection. Um, a lot of these I did own in, in some way or shape or form, but these steel books are just amazing looking from... Uh, from uh, Screen Factory, and I still have them in most of them in the uh, plastic because I just want to keep them kind of kind of safe. I've already seen the movie a hundred million times, so I uh, kind of just want to keep it together. And the thing is, when you order these steel books, they also sent you a uh, poster. So I got a whole bunch of posters sitting over there. The only problem is they sent them, and they're all you know spun up, and it's hard to anyway. Uh, Army of Darkness, like look at that steel book. It's like amazing. Uh, really good stuff. Uh, this one I did open because I actually wanted to see the quality of it. Someone asked me about it. And the quality of this is really good. Uh, the Fog, again, look at it. The, the, the cover art of these are really cool. And just the way it looks, these steelbooks are like awesome. So that's why I picked up a bunch of these steelbooks. Uh, the Howling is another one I've seen so many times, so I don't need to open it. Um, this is Life Force. This one I've never seen before. But again, I don't want to... If I can keep them shut and find another way to watch them, I'll watch them. Prince of Darkness is another one that uh, I, I was asked to watch for the uh, the quality of it. And then last but not least, I have They Live that way. But I also have They Live in this... Um, you know, like I said, it's a some of these are limited to 10,000. Uh, only 10,000 manufacturers. So collect these while you last. That's another... You know, that's also my collector coming out of me i guess you want to call it so another reason i might not need the steel books but if they're limited to you know a certain run or whatever i'll pick it up just to pick it up so that was the um that was the non-slip covers so i'll go to the slip covers uh some of these I'm, I'm gonna have to pull out because i don't remember exactly but some of these have the uh you know flip uh what do you want to call it the cover art so i actually they're gonna be flipped in here, I'll have the cover art and then the whatever. This one doesn't. Army of Frankenstein's is a fun, uh, fun type movie where uh, pretty much there's a doctor that makes these Frankenstein's to fight for him and stuff. Uh, the Autopsy of Jane Doe, I believe this one had. No, it doesn't. Okay, Autopsy of Jane Doe is one where they, uh, what's in the, his name, Emil Hirsch and his father, you know person playing his father in the movie uh they own a autopsy uh whatever a, a morgue and they're going through and this jane doe ends up coming in and it's got she's got like all these weird writing and stuff it's like a ghost type movie uh i definitely enjoyed it if you haven't seen it definitely go ahead and check it out this is the babadook and this one has the uh you know the pop up one i don't know uh, how limited the uh, the run was with the you know special edition cover, but uh, this is the Babadook. This one is beneath, and I think this one does have, uh, like I said, most of them sometimes will have that uh, flipped cover. So I think this one actually uh, looks a little bit uh, you know better than the actual cover of the uh, cover of the movie. So let me uh, figure out how to put this back in the thing. So anyway, beneath. It's about a uh, giant like catfish that a uh, group of people they end up going into the uh, water they're stuck in a boat and this giant catfish type thing is attacking them bite if you haven't seen this one i believe this one also has uh, a different slip cover people were saying this is almost like a um what do you want to call it the fly but you know it has its as uh, kind of aspects where uh instead of jeff goldblum bloom building this like travel or time machine type thing and getting stuck in there with a fly this girl ends up going on a honeymoon getting bitten by this type of insect and actually turning into an a 
you know, bug it that way. Bite, I definitely enjoyed it. Just the scenes and stuff are very, you know, um, in-depth and, and creepy looking. Uh, this is Black Christmas. This is the, you know, they eventually made the remake of, uh, what is it, Black Xmas. Um, pretty much a uh, group of teens, they stayed at the dorm and they're getting attacked by a uh, killer and stuff. Blood-sucking bastards, I mentioned this many a times. Uh, this, no, has the exact same... Uh, same one, but this is a um, company that ends up getting uh, a new boss, and let's just say the new boss has something going on with him. He is a vampire, and now it's uh, the group of people that haven't been turned going against, uh, you know, blood-sucking bastards in their office. So, really fun stuff. It's like office space meets, like, um, I don't know, I don't want to say, like, uh, Lost Boys or whatever, but it's office space meets a vampire type movie uh this is one that i got from um from horror pack uh talking about these movies sometimes i'll you know go crazy and whatever horror pack this is the boy uh it's an interesting uh you know type movie i can't really elaborate on it too much it's like a uh uh a guy goes into a ha like a house and finds this kid and i don't want to go or should i say i can't really explain it more than that uh because i haven't seen it in a while carnage park is a uh re i don't want to say revenge type movie but a girl gets kidnapped and um now they're dealing with uh, other stuff going on as well i don't know if that one has a uh let me see it if it does yes it does have a uh alternate cover so Carnage Park, uh, class of 1984. I've only seen trailers of this movie, have not seen the whole uh, whole movie, but it's pretty much, you know, um, rebellious kids and stuff dealing, uh, going through, um, you know, uh, giving hell to, t uh, the, especially one teacher, and it, well, two teachers, actually. I remember seeing a scene, but, uh, you know, crazy kids trying to, giving teachers a hard time. This one also I got today. Uh, this came out. Um, yesterday, but I ended up getting it today, and this is the, uh, Clover Hitch Killer, this is pretty much a, um, I don't want to say horror, horror type movie, it's more of a thriller about trying to find a killer, and, uh, you know, some people are kind of looking for this killer more than others, Clover, uh, Clover Hitch Killer, I definitely did dig it, like I said, it came out today, so, uh, look for that one, Cockneys vs. Zombies is another, I guess that one does not have a different cover, another, you know, zombie type movie, it's more, uh, English, this is another one, Dark Song, I don't remember what it is about, but this is another one that I got from, uh, Horror Pack, uh, The Dead Room is another one that I bought in, like, a, uh, a massive hole, I guess you want to call it, and never sat down to watch it, so that one I can't really talk on too much, as I'm trying to figure out where I'm putting these uh, movies as I go. Uh, the Devil's Dolls has, uh, you know, voodoo uh, attached to it and stuff, um, down in the bayou and stuff, and dealing with possession and, and, and stuff like that, so that's the Devil's Dolls. I actually dig that uh, cover, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, the next one is uh, The Devil's Gate. This is more alienish, alien type movies and stuff. Uh, another, you know, was that the exact same? It's just, yeah, a little bit bigger. Uh, like I said, IFC, uh, Midnight. A lot of these movies, I'd say a good, you know, third of the movies have, uh, you know, uh, IFC dealing with them. Uh, you got Don't Knock Twice. No, I thought this one had a uh, different... Um, <laughs> I had so much hope for this. I saw the trailer, was expecting it. Maybe I went into with it too, with too much hope. Uh, a ghost story about, you know, the, if you go to this one house, there's a legend that if you knock twice, then you kind of bring this ghost out. And, you know, kids these days, they try and uh, try and do it. And they, you know, definitely bring spirits. Uh, this one's hard to explain. I don't want to go too much into depth with it. Elizabeth Harvest, it's like a... Uh, um, I don't want to say cloning, but like I said, it's a little bit harder to explain. I'd have to sit down and, uh, you know, actually, it'll take more than two, like 30 seconds to explain it. Extraterrestrial, I uh, still not ha still haven't opened this. Uh, 
13th Wolfman from the Dorkening. I uh, recommend this one, so uh, eventually I'll get to it. it. It seems like a horror comedy with, um, you know, aliens. Uh, Fender Bender, I like this one. It's like a, a 80s throwback where a girl um, just gets a car. This guy runs into her. They exchange uh, numbers and stuff and, and information. And let's just say that guy was a little bit more than he, he you know, seems to be. Fender Bender. Um, Feral, I like this one. This one stars a uh, Scalar Tau. Uh, Scout Taylor Compton um, was about to mix up her whole name, but anyway, uh, pretty much people end up going into uh, the woods, and uh, there's let's just say a uh, creature there, and it almost has the vibe of like I don't want to say like cabin fever where they get sick, but um, if you get bitten by this creature, you end up turning kind of deal, feral. Uh, this has nothing to do with horror, but it is uh, attached to the Scream Factory collection, so that's why I have it. Garbage Pail Kids. A lot of people hate this movie. think it's probably the dumbest movie ever made. Um, I'm not going to say it's an award-winning thing, but I used to watch that movie religiously when I was younger, rent it from stuff, so it's like ingrained in my head. So that's why I think I you know, like it so much. I have it on DVD and on, uh, and on Blu-ray, so... Okay, let me grab these. Like I said, I'm running out of uh, room. Uh, Ghost Stories, definitely a really good little anthology. Um, I wouldn't, I guess it would be considered an anthology. A guy ends up going to kind of debunk uh, the whole, you know, ghost stories and stuff. And he goes and talks to three different people with three different, um, you know, backstories and stuff. And he kind of gets himself into uh, trouble. Uh, Gravy is one that is a... Uh, Interesting uh, movie, an interesting take on cannibals where uh, they're throwing a party for a girl, uh, like a co-worker who's leaving, and they end up getting crashed by these three people who are uh, cannibals. Fun fun movie. The Hollow, uh, this is one where um, it's like uh, fairy-like creatures or like the mythical creatures, I guess you want to call it, of Ireland. Uh, uh, English... I don't know if he's a professor or whatever. They, he goes there to kind of uh, test these um, the woods and stuff. And the locals are saying, don't mess with these woods because you're going to get yourself in trouble. Well, they don't heed the warning. And then they end up getting these freaking like creatures after them. Hellions, I believe this one has a uh, different one. This is another one that got... You know, I was excited for I watched it, and the first half isn't bad, and then it turns, like, trippy and weird by the end of it. Um, sometimes I get myself so hyped up that, you know, it, it hurts me in the long run. Hell Night, they go to this, like, a uh, abandoned, not abandoned, but, like, haunted house or whatever, and uh, things don't go for them. Uh, the House on Willow Street, this is a, like, kidnapping movie where they pretty much kidnapped the wrong person uh i thought that had another slip um anyway uh jackals this is a fun one where i don't say fun one but a good one where a family they end up kidnapping their son back from a cult uh and then they're gonna try to have like an intervention in this like cabin you know away from where they kidnapped them from but they uh the cult finds them and now they're trying to get their member back um this is uh, the lesson about a, um, let's just say, a teacher who kind of uh, goes crazy if you don't kind of listen to, uh, you know, what he's what he has to say. Um, this is a uh, recent one. I can't believe it came out like beginning of last year, last year, beginning of last month. Uh, Mermaid, the Lake of the Dead. This is a, um, I don't know what country it's made in, but pretty much it's like a urban myth about the uh, mermaids and stuff and how they can you know uh manipulate people by just uh, like their aura around them and stuff like that uh and then they become you know killers and stuff but this one i definitely think is uh is cool if you haven't seen it uh, uh mermaid the lake of the dead um the midnight man this is like a game where uh if you do something at midnight. I forget exactly what you have to do or call or whatever. Um, you have to play this game and he ends up coming after you and stuff. And they're playing the game and they summon him. One of those deals where let's just try this stupid myth or whatever and it comes to comes to life. Uh, this is one that I uh, already own on uh, another Blu-ray. But I got this through... Um, uh, horror pack and that's misery this is the uh scream factory collection 
you know, version of it. Uh, the monkey's paw. This is one where I believe this has a uh, no, never mind. Um, this is one where this monkey's paw has a you know wish it grants wishes, I guess you want to call it, but it's an evil thing. So whatever you wish for, kind of you say it in the wrong way, it kind of brings out the bad part of your wish, I guess you want to call it. Uh, over your dead body, still one I have not uh, checked out, but I believe this one does have... No, it does not. Over your dead body, still one. I've said it in everything. I still haven't sat down to watch it. Uh, prison, about a haunted prison. Uh, that got, has uh, Viggo Mortensen in it. Uh, Pay Wackett. This is pretty much a, um, a uh, evil spirit, I guess you want to call it. This one person, this one girl, kind of gets pissed at her i believe it's her father or mother or something like that and she puts this like curse on uh the person and it's starting to come true and uh, you know she did it just to do it she didn't think it was going to happen but uh it ended up happening and now she's trying to reverse the whole spell and stuff uh so don't mess with you know stuff like that uh slasher season one this is i they do have a slasher season two i don't know if it's like a continuation of um, this season, or it's a new slasher, it's pretty much a couple episodes about, you know, them trying to figure out what, the, there's a serial murderer, and they're trying to figure out, you know, what it is, uh, Sleepaway Camp 3, this is the, uh, what is it called, Sleepaway Camp 3, Teenage Wasteland, uh, they do have, with these ones, they do have the, uh, you know, slip, uh, the, the DVD version, or even the VHS, I believe, had, uh, those, uh, cover the the cover art to that. Stung is a giant. Um, I don't know if they're bees or, or I think they're wasps or something like that. Stung the under ultimate buzzkill. This is where a bunch of big uh, wasps end up coming and uh, attacking people in this small town. Uh, the stranger still have not watched this one. That one I bought at a, a thrift store. Not a thrift store, but a um. They have like a uh, small little like vendors and stuff at this one firehouse i bought it there submerged where a group of um prom goers they end up getting caught and and running off the road and uh getting caught in a limousine that's slowly sinking and stuff um this is toolbox murders uh the toolbox murders 2 still have not watched that i, I watched the first one didn't really like it that much but it was uh cheap enough where i added it to collection uh this is the wilding where a um a i don't even know if he was a scientist or something in the beginning but anyway a guy ends up um there's these creatures almost like werewolves and stuff and he ends up um killing a mother and kind of raising her child as a human type deal and it's it's an interesting uh you know take on a werewolf film the wilding and the last one of this collection is one that came out mid last year i guess you want to call it it's a fun it's a like a i wouldn't even call it a horror comedy it's more of a like a thriller comedy i guess you want to call it 68 kill pretty much um a group of people want uh a guy's money and different people are going after this money at the same time so you get kind of it's what people do for uh money and stuff and they all kind of go crazy for it so that was my entire collection like i said i tried to explain each one a little bit if any of them you want explain more like a full out you know maybe five minute review or whatever let me know in the comments uh like i said if you haven't already if you made it through this entire video thank you very much uh there's like I said, a lot of these movies, I most of them were, are newer movies. Other ones, you know, I'm I might eventually get ones that you know are bigger titles like that came out before. But a lot of them, like I said, with the uh, the Critters collection and the Amityville Horror, I already had them on uh, DVD, so I was hesitant just picking them up to pick them up on Blu-ray. Uh, there are some other ones I might want. They're more. Um, you know, the steel books and stuff, I'll probably get more and kind of keep them just because uh, they're limited. Uh, but some of them I might not, some of them I, I don't need. I know a lot of them, uh, like Valentine came out and stuff like that. And maybe eventually if they could become cheap enough, but it, 20 bucks, I don't see myself buying them. But anyway, maybe there's some that you were interested in. Like I said, anything you want uh, explained or reviewed a little bit more into uh, detail, let me know in the comments. 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that like button if you did enjoy this video and of course hit that little bell button for to be updated or you know be the first one to know about uh, when I do upload more videos check the show notes for all my other social media I got a Facebook fan page got an Instagram where I show off the movies behind me I got a Twitter a part of the dorkening uh, I'm starting to do my own little own side podcast or when you, if you want to call it that a, you know a little 15 20 minute show the talent around us so I got a whole bunch of stuff going on uh, but mostly I do this stuff to help promote uh, movies that come out so if you enjoyed it like I said hit the like button hit the subscribe button check everything uh, that I talk about in the uh, description and all my other social medias and I guess until next time I'll see you guys <laughs>